during this global pandemic, one thing we've learned is that workspaces are not remaining the same as usual, and employees have to constantly collaborate with others even from a remote place. To facilitate this process, companies are adopting more and more collaborative tools. Among these, the most popular ones are Slack and Teams. They've been battling with each other in the collaboration tool spaces for quite some time now. While both of them have similarities and differences, both are trying to build an environment that is ready for the hybrid age of work. In this video, we're going to compare these two and see which one is the best for you. Let's start with the interface first. There are a lot of similarities between these two in terms of interface. Both have information on the left side of the screen. In Teams, we have activity, chat, teams, messaging, files, and etc. Slack on the other hand has all DMs, mentions and reactions, channels, apps, and more. Between Slack and Teams, the Slack interface is a bit easier because it's easy to work with having a simple list of all your channels without being divided into lots of subdivisions. So, it's easier to see when someone mentions you and what channels need your attention. It's not that team is hard to use, but team structure when divided into different organizations and subdivisions makes it a little more complex than Slack, but it can be useful as it's capable of handling more complex channel infrastructures. Both of these apps also support web conferencing. In Slack, it's easy to make a call. Just select any of your teammates and click the call button on the top right of your screen. If you don't want to use Slack's native video conferencing tools, you can choose to use other conferencing apps like Zoom, Cisco, and others. Using Teams, you can make calls from contacts on Teams. You can even add your team members to your contacts by saving their phone numbers. This way, you can call the phone number even if they aren't using the computer. However, Slack has a few limitations when it comes to web conferencing like the function only available in the paid desktop version which again supports 15 members only. In contrast, Teams supports up to 300 people and allows calling from the mobile app. Besides, Teams video calling is built from Skype, which has been in development for many years and thus provides more consistent video quality. Slack and Teams also support a number of apps that work perfectly fine with these collaborative tools. There are even bots to automate tasks from managing channels to previewing links. In Teams, you can easily edit and share files in real time using familiar apps like Microsoft Word, Axel, and PowerPoint. Support for third-party apps are also there, but they don't work so well as the Microsoft apps too. In contrast, Slack supports a huge number of third-party apps like Drive, Trello, Notion, and plenty others. Finally, let's talk about the pricing. Both of these offer a variety of price options to choose from. But between these two, only Teams offer a forever free version. Slack offers a free trial upon request from the vendors and lasts based on the number of messages. In addition, there are three types of paid plans and teams which start from $4 and top out at $12.50. The $4 plan offers 300 participants with 10 GB of cloud storage per user. The other two offer more storage and features like more Microsoft apps and services. Similarly, Slack offers three kinds of premium plans as well. The Pro and Business Plus cost $8 and $15 and when paid annually, there is some discount available. To get a price calculation for Enterprise Grid, you have to contact their sales team. Well, both of these apps are great and will surely help you collaboratively in remote and hybrid workspaces. But if your organization or office has fewer employees and relies on third-party apps, Slack is better for that. It's again easier to use without too much learning. But for a large business that relies heavily on Microsoft software, then Teams is an easy choice. Plus, if you want your collaborative tool to also be a web conferencing tool, Teams is a better choice for that too. And finally, if you're on a budget, the free version of the team offers a great value compared to Slack. So, that was all about Slack versus Teams and which one is best for you. Thanks for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.